Success for me is the willingness to do and fail. So that's my definition. And that means like, if I am willing to put myself out there and fail, then that's, that's success, man. So I could fail, but I'll feel successful that I at least took a chance on myself and at least tried the idea. It's just like, why not do it? You know, play, experiment, push. I feel extremely successful. Whether or not the outcome is successful or it's not, it plays no role in my success. I'm Jai Long, I'm a wedding photographer, I'm a business coach, and I'm based here in Melbourne, Australia. been a wedding photographer full time for about eight years. I think for me it suits my personality. I also really love how there's high risk, high stake, high pressure. When I go in it's only a, a second to take a photo of the you know, um, group photo or the first kiss or whatever it is and like these photos are worth so much to someone so it does make me feel like I'm doing something that's really important in a lot of people's lives. Man, I feel like every single week I'm getting contacted, people ask me what should I do when I'm just starting out and um, I think people find it really hard right now and I think I'm always telling everyone that they can just get out there and do some stuff but it's hard to tell anyone that kind of stuff, hey. So I was thinking about over the weekend, I was thinking about having a bit of a challenge for myself where Maybe this week I try and start fresh, like get rid of my status, my followers, like everything, um, and go out there and see if I can build a successful business in one week, in five days, on a budget as well. Because, you know, there's always, you know, if you've got gear or if you've already got money and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know, what do you reckon? So, you be getting rid of your camera, your website. Camera, website, Instagram followers, everything. You know, all my friends in the industry, all my network, like basically everything, start fresh and then try and book myself a, an actual lead this week. Man, if I could just start a business in one week, like I'm talking about like, you know, making a price guide and a website and building a portfolio and getting some leads, like that's a lot in one week. $2,000 is like, it's not a lot of money, but that would get me a website real quick so I don't have to spend time on that. Hire a camera. Um, I'm just going to ask people maybe if I can just get a lead somewhere because we're in Melbourne everyone knows me around here in the wedding industry so if I can change my name fully go undercover I reckon we can do it I'm going to plan some stuff out and I reckon we can get straight into it I reckon Jack Short Weddings we need we need a website price guide if I can build a portfolio get some actual photos because I can't use any of my old stuff I reckon that's a plan like really five days to do all that I just don't think we can waste any time. I reckon we could actually have to go out there, go hire that um, camera, and I reckon we actually go out and find where my clients are. And if we can do that, I've got a running chance of actually building a successful business in five days. So let's do it. So yesterday we um, came up with a bit of a plan going into the city to see if there's any weddings. I'm going to go to the registry, right? But what we didn't know is uh, the registry is actually not open. So now I'm going down and we have to make a whole new plan because it's literally the thing that we want to do today is not happening today. Usually I think people don't have uh, photographers here so we're going to go check it out see if there's see if it's actually open. Google tells me it's not. Come on baby, <laughs> please. Hey, I was just wondering, um, next door, are they having any weddings or anything next door today? 
Is it open to today? It's completely closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. I reckon if we go for a cruise around maybe the park, we'll be able to see someone getting married. It's gotta be something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for, but I know it's gonna come to me. Where do people get married in Melbourne? People meditating. I try and look at how old people are, see if they're like engaged or... Hey guys. Are you guys engaged at all? Yep. Are you? I am trying to find someone to take some photos off so I can start my portfolio so I can quit my job so I can be a photographer. <laughs> can I take a photo of you two? Yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah? Nice. Yeah, I've never done this before, but this week I decided I just want to quit my job and I want to be a full-time photographer, so I was like, I'm just going to go and find people. Did you say, do you have anything in your teeth? Yeah, yeah you do. Me. Nah, I'm joking. Tell you don't have a random in the park taking photos of you? <laughs> There's literally nothing on there, but I'll send it to you tomorrow because I'm going to start my Instagram this afternoon. Yeah, do it. And you'll be the first one on there. So. Yeah. Awesome, nice yeah. to meet you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cool, I got my first lead. So we've been out here for half an hour and got my first lead, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get home, email these guys. Um, I reckon I've got a good chance of booking them, to be honest. Hey, excuse me, guys. I was wondering, could I take a photo of you too? Yeah, no photo? No, thanks. All right, let's go. Nice. Thanks anyway, that. though. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. First strikeout. Not much happening this morning, is there? There's usually weddings up there. I feel like they're so sheltered though that it's really intrusive. <laughs> nah, I bought mission, man. They definitely don't look keen. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a couple, there's a couple in here. Hey, excuse me guys. My name's Jack, I'm a, I'm trying to become a wedding photographer. No, I was wondering if I could just take a photo of you guys anyway. I'm an electrician. Okay. Just sick of it, so. Oh, that's so cute. Thanks, guys. Second person I got the photograph today. That's a good idea. Just, and there's so many weddings here all the time. I know. And plus, and the chance that you guys were engaged, then I could be like, <laughs> can I shoot your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic. I reckon, um, I reckon I'll be able to book some work from today. I might just start reaching out to some people. Hi, the person you have called is not available. What other venues is there? from running out of time. I've got a day free today and I was just going to see if you guys, I know you've got a lot of venues and stuff, I was going to see if you got any weddings happening today with no photographer. Uh, no, sorry, at the moment today we haven't. Yeah. Um, it's all covered for today. Maybe we should just be driving around there. Oh hey, um, my name is Jack. I was, I'm actually a wedding photographer, and I was just seeing if you guys had any weddings happening today that didn't have a photographer. Uh, no, we don't have a wedding today. We only have a birthday, so I think they do have a photographer. Oh, do they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's a hey. This week, do you guys have any weddings happening that might not no, have a not photographer? This week. Oh, okay. okay, that's all right. Thank you so much. So there's a church up here. I just want to see if they're having a wedding today. Do you guys have many weddings here? Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys, do the weddings usually have photographers? We do. Yeah, um, not all of them, though. It's usually the wedding couples. They, they, the bring they bring someone. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, can't wait to come check this place out one day. Ain't no wedding going on in there. This is where my perfect client hangs out. So, yeah, this is where it's all, all happened. Where's my clients? Who's my clients? Where's my clients? <laughs> Where are they? I'm gonna find them. Where's my clients? Hey, can I take a photo of you guys? Mm. Thanks so much. Um, I was... That's totally fine. Sorry, my name is Jack, by the way. There's my shot. <laughs> That's awesome. This couple definitely wants a photo. Free to first. Yeah. Free to first. <laughs> did a uh, wedding shoot for my brother. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I recognise you. <laughs> I'm not undercover enough, I don't reckon. 
And he said, are you Fritz Bertrand? She said, no, I'm Jack. <laughs> and then convinced him. <laughs> Damn it. Why did that not go right? <laughs> Should we go to the studio? I'm gonna jump on and buy a website from Lilo. Don't have time to make a website, so I wanna jump on and just make something that looks incredible straight off the bat. This is gonna look so good. I'm actually really excited that um, with three clicks I've got a new website. And then with a day's worth of work, I've got at least some photos to put on the website. So I'm pretty pumped about this. What should I say, the book the best photographer on the planet or what? Self-proclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> that still counts. If I can run around and shoot like five different weddings, and then I'll stay there and sneak a couple of photos at the ceremony. You know what I mean? We've really pretty good going for first day. We've got a lead, we've got a portfolio, we've got a website, we've got an Instagram account. But yeah, now ready for day two. Ready for day two. Business, like I'm so passionate about business because it's it's the thing that allows me to be really creative. Business, like number one for me is it's an adventure. Like it's a, literally an adventure. It's like this big story. Like if you sat down with me and we're going for a beer at the cafe or like at the pub or something, I could tell you so many stories that it would take a year before I stopped talking because there's so many things going on all the time. And I think you just don't get that if I'm working for someone else and working for someone else's dreams. Like I want to be working for my own dreams and I want to be failing for myself, I want to be succeeding for myself, I want to be seeing what's possible for myself. And I think that inspires me. It inspires me so much that it gets me out of bed every day. Without any alarm, I'm bouncing out of that thing. Every day, it doesn't matter if it's Sunday, it doesn't matter if it's Monday, 5 a.m., before the sun's up, like my eyes are wide open and I'm like, I can't waste this opportunity. Every day I think that in my head. Like there's not a day that goes past and I don't want to sound like I'm stressed out in my head because we all run differently, but I literally think that every day. <laughs> Um, I just made a price guide and I finished my website and I'm just about to email Jean from yesterday, which is the which is the lead that I got. Shall I send it? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right. Well, that's one person. I could probably use a price guide to make a flyer, I reckon. I should put a photo of myself on there and see if anyone like goes, hey, is that a, is that Jai? And it says, meet Jack. Hey, what do you think about putting up posters? Like, I can follow these guys around. As long as you're wearing a high-vis vest. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, huh? People driving past, there are all these cars. There has to be my clients driving past here right now sometime. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's not gonna be many people around to shoot today, to be honest. Because it's awesome going into winter. Not many people are getting married right now. The cards are stacked against us, that's for sure. It's done. Hey, I was just wondering, um, I was wondering if you guys actually have some weddings happening this week. Oh, we do, yeah. Yeah? yeah we do have weddings happening. Yeah. Um, do you have any today? That, yeah, but what did you want to shoot? Maybe just ask if anyone wants a photographer for the data. Photographer, yeah. Look, I mean, you can ask them maybe when they're outside. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Look at that one. That's a good one. Always. <laughs> <laughs> if that couple walk past and they're like, oh, that's me. Hey, if, if I get a wedding, like if I shoot someone's wedding and then ask them for a tip, is that included as getting paid for a wedding? I reckon. You reckon that's a photographer? Yeah, it looks like a videographer, doesn't it? Do you reckon the couple are out yet or they're in there still signing? Yeah, if the couple come out and they don't have a photographer, I'll go ask them if I can take some portraits for them. Dang, I wish it was more obvious who, who is getting married. If anyone asks, I'll just say I'm waiting for a wedding. Keep an eye out. If you see anyone that remotely looks like they're going to a wedding, then I'm keen. All right, look at this couple. Hopefully they go down, look at my sign. 
It's funny putting up flyers and then watching people looking at your flyer. That guy's like looking at my flyer, then looking at me, then looking at my flyer and looking at me, doing a double take. Like, oh, here comes someone. Might, he might be a wedding guest. No, just a city sleeper. I might go stick one on the transport while I'm waiting. Just don't want to miss the next couple. And then sneaking in, you know? I'd be surprised if no one takes a photo of this. Tags me on Instagram for real. So I'm gonna reach out to as many people as I can right now. Um, just sussing out, there might be a wedding behind me. It looks like there's a wedding photographer though, so I'm just having a bit of a look. I'm gonna go ask them. Hey guys, are you guys getting married today? Yes, cheers. Hey, do you have a photographer? I'm a wedding photographer and I'm just sort of standing out here seeing if anyone wants a photographer. Free of charge. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. that is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Day two, full wedding. Pretty lucky that I get to shoot a wedding on my second day of business. Did I say my right name when I talked to him? Yeah. Which one? Did I say Jack? Oh, nice. Even I'm forgetting my own name. It's pretty cool because we're making this for the documentary, but it's actually pretty special that like, we can take our time out of our busy schedule to actually come and shoot some photos for some people, give back, it's pretty cool, really. I was just thinking, I haven't even thought about Facebook yet. I'm hustling real life and online at this exact same time, I'm just like, yeah. I've got like three things going on in my brain at once. I'm also looking around, because just in case there's any more weddings coming up. I'm gonna be in there shooting a wedding and then also riding on here, like, yes, let's organize this shoot. Whilst I can't sort of stop you, just that if, if all the couples are being sort of approached and then they come into us, yeah. it might just not yeah, be yeah, the yeah. right thing either. So I, just, I know what security is around here like, and they go, who's this bloke hanging around with the camera? Yeah, so do like, I. <laughs> Bend those <Ooh>. rules. <laughs> Hopefully I've got a memory card in this thing. Me. Yep. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. It's so nice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, maybe we could walk up to the car. This next couple don't want me. I don't know if you heard that. I was like, you sure? I pleaded to him. Yeah. He's like, nah, man. No photographer. Day two. Got paid for a wedding. We did it. Look at that. Got paid for a wedding. I didn't ask for this money either. Day two. Day two. No name, no nothing. Business. What's my name? Jack. Short. Yeah, I just um, backed up all those files. To post them on Instagram right now, and I am, um, yeah, it's already on Instagram. So, half an hour after the wedding. I think if you go home and wait to post something, like it's too late. Hotel Windsor, I just wanna get a photo of this. Yeah, so I'm posting pics straight to my stories and tagging these places, because they're the ones that always share this stuff. They love sharing it, so. Oh, look, you know what I'm talking about. Someone's got my handle. You never know, that could be a lead right there. You never know, there's three people. I just wanna like, see if I can keep organizing a style shoot because I haven't had anything yet. Because I think that's the most important thing. And if I can do that and sit here whilst I'm doing that, means I'm in the way of someone that's going to get married or something. Someone walking past, someone could be engaged, something could be happening, so. I'm on another Facebook group. This one's called Cheap Weddings Melbourne. Should I literally go in there and say, shooting weddings for free this week only? Like get on, get on to it. All right. Anything happen in Melbourne? Is anyone getting married? If I didn't get that wedding today, I reckon it would have been a hard, hard day. You know, just nothing. I'm actually surprised we got that wedding because there was only like one or two weddings today at the registry, which is unheard of. Usually they have one every half an hour. We need way more. <laughs> we need way, way more. I don't know. We need, I want to, like I really want to be posting four times a day on Instagram right now, at least. If I can do that by just shooting everything and anything, then like with that big goal, then I'm at least in the chance of booking some work this week and having a successful business within five days. We'll see. 
Yeah, business for me helps me show people what's possible. Like people all my life tell me what's impossible. Like I remember living on the streets, it's like that. Like people think that you're just the bottom of the earth and you're not gonna be anyone, do anything. And um, everything's impossible. If you don't have the degree, if you don't have the education, if you don't have the name, if you don't like, if you don't have the money, like whatever it is. And I think for me, it really is like, um, man, I love pushing and showing everybody like, hey, it's possible. I don't think about what's impossible because I don't even care. When most people will think, oh, that's an impossible thing. I just think, let's be unrealistic. Like, because I'm only dreaming it. It's not a reality. Well, I might as well dream it amazing opposed to dreaming something horrible is happening, you know, and then go after the amazing thing. And I think business is going to keep doing that for me. I'm going to be able to keep creating opportunities for people. Um, hopefully I can help my family, you know, um, Hopefully, hopefully it um, inspires a lot of people as well. I'm just going for a drive around the Yarra Valley. It's about an hour out of Melbourne. I mean, the reason why I'm out here is because no one knows who I am. I never shoot out here. If I'm in the city, everyone basically knows who I am or of me. They'll probably recognize me. Um, only because I've shot so many weddings there in so many different venues, but out here, I come out here probably once, twice a year. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Don't lock the place. <laughs> Is that a venue? It's funny just driving around looking for signs that say weddings on it. Literally trying to be in the right place. Hey, have you guys seen anyone that's running the show here? Hello? Knock knock. Gotta remember my name's Jack. Hello. Hi, how are you? My name's Jack, I'm a wedding photographer. Um, look, we have a recommended list. Yeah. But to get on that, we have to have... I have um, to. What, what do I have to do to get on that? <laughs> we have to have recommendations from clients. So we only put people on that we've had do work here quite a few times. People yep. have said how good they are. Can I, just, they can are. I just tell you how good I am and then I'm on there? I'm sure you will like everyone else. <laughs> But um, thank you for taking the time. No, not a problem. And, uh, yeah, yeah, good luck. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank All you. Right, bye. See you later. I actually reckon um, I can get on that recommended event list. I reckon if I just kept showing up every weekend, she'll put me on there, hundred percent. I reckon if I actually came out here and like maybe baked her some muffins or something, she'd be like, "All right, you can be on it." I reckon I could get on there. So you can always tell if someone's actually genuinely wanting to say no, or if someone wants to say. Yes, but they want you to prove that you're ready to be on their list, basically. And that's what she was doing. They had a shoot yesterday. Could have been here. Damn. Imagine we rocked up during the shoot. Hey, guys. Hi, how are you? I was wondering if um, the wedding planner or events manager is here at all today? Yeah, she is here. No worries. I wonder if I could meet her. Yeah. Pretty awesome. That couple's married. See the wedding ring. How are you? My name, my name is Jack. Hi, Jack. I'm just uh, sort of cruising around um, and introducing myself to different places. I'm just starting as a wedding photographer. Okay. Yeah, and I just wanted to see, like, I know you guys have so many weddings here and it's such a beautiful location mm -hmm. and stuff. And I just wanted to see, like, what would a new photographer have to do to hustle their way onto that list? Um, have That's you got what I want to know. I got an like Instagram. That? Yeah. Check this out. Um, so I started this a couple of days ago. I've got eight, nine followers now. Yeah. Do you reckon that's pretty good? Jack Short Weddings. Yep. All right, awesome. I'll uh, look you up when mm -hmm. I'm back in the office and have a look. They said that I could get on the recommended list if I've been around for 20 years. Um, I don't have enough time. Um, I'm going to jump on Google real quick and see if there's any other places. And then I reckon we hit the road and we just go and hit more places. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. Hey, uh... My name's Jack, I'm a wedding photographer, and I'm just sort of cruising around, introducing myself. Just seeing if there's any, any weddings going on, or then anyth any, anything's going on, but... <laughs> not a lot at the moment. Not too much today, <laughs> yeah. Um, because I only just started, I quit my job like two days ago, and I'm, oh, I'm trying to book some <laughs> weddings. Yeah, would you have any like advice on like where I could go and find a wedding? 
She definitely doesn't know who I am. I've never seen her before. Hi. Good, how are you? I actually just wanted to ask like, if you guys have any weddings coming up that don't have photographers or if you got any that couples that you just met with. Um, if you wanted to send us an email, we can definitely have a look at your work. I've got eight followers. Do you think that's too many or not enough? Probably eight. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> No weddings today. Nothing happening here. Do you reckon I should put my flyer up on one of these trees? I wonder if they'll get annoyed. One more note to add to the list. It's not going good today, is it? We need something to go our way. I think it just takes the morale out of the day, really. Just getting all no's, not one yes yet, but it's a hard ask. I'm trying to book a client this week. You know, it's, it's not that easy, but. It's also, it's also fucking hard because no one's open. Like it's midweek and venues, it's going into winter. They're just not open. Like it's just, nothing's happening. So we got five days right now. I'm building a business right here. So I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to hustle everyone. And I think I can show up again tomorrow. And I don't know, try and make, try and make something happen. <laughs> Feeling defeated, deflated, over it, ready. Ready to get out of here. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I don't know. Like, was I thinking someone was just gonna give me a wedding? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just wasted, wasted another day. I think tomorrow, the day after, it's really, I'm gonna have to step up the game because it's the last two days. Don't have a lead. Well, I've got one lead. I don't have any bookings. And, um, I've only made $50 this week so far. Like, it's too late. Where are my clients? You know, I've walked around town, I've gone to the venues, I'm meeting people. Still no closer. I don't even know what to say anymore. I've been out driving around all day talking to everyone, so my brain's kind of mushy, but. That's it. That's uh, day. Th Day three, over? Yeah, done. I think some of the most distinct memories of my childhood were, for sure, and my favorite memories was, we used to, um, when we were homeless for a bit, we would live in back of the car and we'd travel, like we'd have a station wagon and you know, it was all my brothers and sisters and we would always be traveling down the east coast of Australia and I would always lay in the back. Like, so back then you wouldn't wear seatbelts or anything, but I'd always lay in the back of all the stuff and just be looking out the back window or, um, for some reason, I think my dad was always probably doing something dodgy. So he would always get everyone to duck down when there was police going past. And I just always remember that I was always sitting on the floor, like, you know, and then dad would tell us when it's all safe to, you know, pop back up because there's always too many people in the car and things like that. But. like yes like mom and dad looking after us and you know all my brothers and sisters are there and everything was always really close quarters like everything was always snuggly like we'd be on top of each other all the time so I kind of grew up with no personal space and I kind of loved not having personal space like even now like I kind of love not having personal space so that's why I'm very much like a hugger and I want to be around people and I, you know I don't mind sharing space with people I've got a lot of memories that my mum tells me that I don't actually remember. My mum tells me that I wanted to be a business person when I was a kid. She used to say I used to want to want, I wanted a suit and I wanted to sort of get out of where we were all the time. Um, I think I, 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 I try not to think about any of these type of things, but there was a lot of um, 
There's a lot of domestic violence. And so like, I think a lot of my saddest memories was just seeing my mum getting beat up all the time. Like that's a really hard thing to even think about now. Like, um, I think, yeah, seeing her with a black eye <laughs> and um, having to like ring the police all the time. Because there's different aspects, right? You got your dad and then you love that person and he's the protector. And then you got your mom and she's like the person that nurtures you and stuff. And I think when things don't work out, like your dad's no longer the protector, you don't know who to go to basically. A lot of my childhood was, there was a lot of turbulence in, in that sense. There was a lot of, um, a lot of like moving around. There was a lot of like obviously drug use. Um, it, like the domestic violence thing wasn't just in with my dad as well. There was a lot of his friends were the same. And like, you know, his brother was the same. And I think, so it was very accepted as well. And I think, you know, when I think back now, like for my mom and for like all the women back then in that environment, like they went through so much and it kills me. Like my dad, like some of the, I mean, I don't want to get too heavy here, but like, you know, when I was a teenager, he used to write me suicide notes and he used to try and commit suicide. And then I thought he was dead for like 12 months and then he'd just show back up. And then like in my front yard and then I'd be like, oh dad, you know, I've already mourned you kind of thing. And now you're here. And then he will tell me, oh no, nah, no, nah, I, tr I tried, but I just got really high. And then, you know, those type of, like those type of memories, I, I, I hated it so much that I um, now I'm so thankful that like, I'm thankful and fearful that this will run out. Like I'm, I'm thankful that I get to be very privileged at the moment and, um, um, and I'm scared that like the privilege will run out and I'll be back in a situation that I don't want to be in. I wanted to get out of that place so badly that it was like, how do I, how do I make an opportunity for myself basically? And that's, being the driving factor, I've always wanted to be away from a situation that I can't control. And I want to be in a situation where it's like, I'm bringing positivity, I'm bringing love, and I'm bringing like people together um, for, a positive, for a positive impact. Man, I've got some big news, hey? It was a big night last night. I was going to go to sleep, but I ended up spending all night after such a disheartening day yesterday on Facebook and Instagram. And I've got some amazing news to tell you. <laughs> yes, I'm super tired, but that couple that um, I met on the first day, they emailed me back and they're interested. They wanna know more, they wanna have a meeting with me. I'm meeting with them tomorrow morning. So this is my, almost my last chance to book someone this week. I'm having a client meeting with them, but I've got some other really cool news. Okay, I booked in an engagement shoot for this afternoon for sunset. I wanna try and make it look very bridal. I reckon we go around today to some dress stores and see if we can, get like a nice outfit for both of them. Um, I don't really have any money left on my budget. I think there's probably about a hundred dollars left after the website, the price guide, driving around. I think we should go hire another lens because I'm thinking, man, why not like such a big opportunity, like get the right gear so I can get that hero image for my website. Man, I reckon this is it. I reckon this is the actual, I think this is the missing piece of the puzzle. I think that one's probably too big. It's a little bit expensive, out of my price range actually. Might be something else somewhere else. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm a new wedding photographer and I'm oh. doing a shoot tonight. I was like, where do I get a dress from? So I thought I'd come around and just see like if people have dresses for shoots. Um. I know what you're thinking. I'll give you one of those $50,000 Berta ones no, off the rack right there. What's the name of your business? Uh, my business name is Jack uh, Weddings. We don't just hand out dresses to anybody. Um, the answer will be no, but... Hi. Hey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, um, I'm just starting out a wedding photography business and I'm just sort of doing um, a bit of research and stuff, just seeing like how do you get a dress for like 
um, doing styled shoots and collab with people and um, this is all a ruse. Yeah, it's, yeah, I yeah. figured that when I yeah. walked up to the front yeah, yeah. because I was filming straight into our store. I just got a message from the couple. They're not keen to dress up in bridal, which is a bit of a bummer. They said it's too close to their wedding to dress up in bridal, but they sent me a photo. It looks like it's bridal anyway. I was so worried that they wouldn't dress up for it, but that's so good. Right, where are we going? I'm so stoked right now, man. Like literally doing this challenge, I just thought it's next to impossible. Like I shot a wedding this week, right? I mean, even just to build a portfolio and everything, I just didn't think it was possible. And like, it's day four right now. I'm about to do my first proper shoot that I booked in. I've got this client meeting tomorrow morning. If I could lock someone in tomorrow morning on the last day, and if I could show them some photos from, from tonight, then there's the goal, goal done. You know, I'm absolutely pumped about it. I just can't believe how far this business has come. Jack Short weddings in just such a short amount of time. Like it's blown my mind. It actually is doing better than I thought it would do, for sure. Hey, I'm Jack. How are you? Yvette. Yvette. Charles, I'm Jack. How are you? Getting uncomfortable, that uncomfortable, is it worth it? And I think about it all the time. I think about it even now when I'm going to do something that's like really uncomfortable and I have to question, like, is this actually worth it? Then I think about like how far I came, like none of that would have came if I wasn't uncomfortable. I think about my dreams and my goals and I'm like, you know, and not going back to where I've come from. I'm like, it's, it's absolutely worth it. Like it's worth me going for it. Like if I died tomorrow, I'd be happy with myself that today I actually stood up and went and did something meaningful for myself to get me closer to something. People say to me all the time, like, Jai, you could probably retire or like, when are you going to slow down? I think for me, it's like, um, I'll never give up. I had a conversation with some friends the other day and they're like, you're going to get tired soon. And they'll say, you're going to get tired soon. You're in your 30s. Like, people don't run like you do. Like, you still run like you're 20 years old. Like, I'm not. I've got energy because I've got a purpose, you know, like, and as long as I've got a purpose and I keep going towards like the things that, you know, make me alive, like my own dreams, my own goals, um, my own unrealistic goals, like I'm going to keep showing up. There's nothing that's going to ever stop me. When I weigh out something like, is this worth doing? It's like I could fail. I don't even look at what would happen if it fails. I'm like, well, the upside's infinite, downside's only a little bit, so it's an easy bet for me to make. Hey, I was up so late last night editing all these photos. Got them on the website. They look awesome. And um, just got myself ready and I'm about to head out the door. Head into the city and go meet this couple. This is the last chance we have to book them in. And um, hopefully they love these photos. Hey. Good to see you again. You too. Oh, yeah. Very nice to see you. Good, mate. How are you? Good. Good A truth that I know that others don't is um, things that are a lot easier than what we make it out to be. I think a lot of the times we think it should be more complicated or it is hard or it's a mystery. It actually comes down to like common sense and it's actually incredibly easy. And it blows my mind that no one knows that. Like people think it should be harder. We had a coffee, we got chatting and they loved my website, they loved my price guide, they loved everything and it made me feel confident and then they were like yeah let's do this like let's 
let's do it. And as soon as they did that, I just said, guys, I'm undercover and I'm actually a wedding photographer, been around for a, quite a while and I want to shoot your wedding for free. You're scared of what you don't know. Like always, scared of like, it's the unknown. That's the reason why there's so many problems in the world. So many people are scared of things that they just don't understand. And I think when you experience something and realize it's not as bad as you think, um, it does make you feel invincible. I'm, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling so pumped about it. Now I get to be part of their wedding for real. Cause I wasn't just gonna leave them hanging, you know, Jack Schultz over now, this is all, this is all it, so. I told them they can have any package they want, they can have anything that I have. I don't know, I'm, I'm just like, I guess like right now I'm just so pumped about it because it's literally, I actually thought it was impossible, you know, to be honest. Like it was a challenge for me. This wasn't like, oh, you know, I can do this. This was like, dude, you got to get uncomfortable. You need to be pushing and you need to create some work and you need to be using every hour of every day to make this happen. And the fact that it happened, you know, on the last day, in five days, it's, it's amazing. It's actually amazing. So yeah, I'm, fe I'm feeling on top of the world, to be honest. If you just bring it back to common sense and everyone understood that business is common sense, creativity is common sense, and you ran business that way, like business will become so easy for you because you will no longer be thinking what's the strategy, what's the, what's the map, what's the you know, business plan, and you go like, actually, what does my gut say? And what would common sense say? Feeling pumped, man, living the dream. Living the dream. Hey, imagine, like this is just a thought, but imagine if I showed up like that every single week, like I do in my business now. Like you would definitely have a six figure business pretty quick, wouldn't you? <laughs> really? 67. Yeah, she's my baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though, man? I imagine like showing up like that all the time, hustling out in the streets, just talking to people, uh, six months seven months, eight months, 12 months, like you're gonna have a successful business, right? Like you're gonna get so many connections, you're going to meet so many people, you're gonna book so much work, you're gonna build such a big portfolio, your website's gonna get better. Everything, everything expands when you're out playing the game and you're a part of it, like you're part of life. And I think, I think too many of us, are, we're waiting for the answer and we're not actually creating the answer. We're not actually just going out there, so. And the second that you break all those barriers down and go back to the core of just like, it's, it ain't that hard as long as you're ready to get uncomfortable and, and if you're ready to go after your dreams, like it's, it's there for you.